you're live. Go ahead and say hello. Hello there. Art survey. As you know, we're studying OSU Stadium and how it was patterned after the Colosseum and the Pantheon. So we're going to start with an, with an arch because you know how those Romans love those arches. And I need to turn my paper sideways. I sketched it a little bit so I wouldn't be all cattywampus. And then they have these little step-like things here. And I am not sure why that's there. Maybe it's just so the guys can climb on the roof easier. But there's some over here too. And then we have two. And if you have your ruler, see why I don't buy plastic rulers? Because they like to smack them around and break them. And I'm the one who buys a lot of the stuff for our class because they've been kind of cheap with me. The new principal is pretty good, but in the past they've been, you can only spend $500, but I have 125 students. Well, that's too bad. Yeah, I know. I want to get this even, so I think I'll make it like that over here and measure. Okay, so, so OSU Stadium has an arch here, and then these little step things, and then you can measure and make the two towers on either side the same width. Now you can see I have extra stuff on this side, and that's where it comes back and goes into the horseshoe. Um, this is also, I'll show you in a minute here. Let me get the bottom on this so I can... Uh, okay, so basically you have two rectangles. What, where's this at? Hmm. And it's just at the inch mark, so. You have two rectangles in this rounded space in the middle. You have a half dome, which is down here. I think I'll make it just a little higher. And I'm not gonna worry about um, the exactness of that because it's hard to gauge. We come down here and we have to come in a bit because this comes down further than this. So it's like there. And see how that, these towers on either side come down just a little further. And then there's a walkway here with trees. And we're gonna put the trees in last, so that way you can have overlapping, all those magic words you learn in art class. And I am going to make the round part here. It shows that this goes back. I wanna even it out a little more. Okay, we have three arches here. Now they're big arches. They're not like the ones in the Colosseum. These are big arches and they're equal in size. And as you work on this, you'll want, you'll want to even them out. And then they connect down here. And this one is at an angle this part angles back. So see how it angles back. And this probably is a little more difficult than anything we've drawn so far. Okay, this structure has tassels. I have no idea if maybe the Colosseum or the Pantheon once had tassels. So just make a series of little bowls along here. like that and then right here you're going to make a little circle in the middle like that between where as each bowl hits that line you're going to do that and 
And then you're going to put a little uh, bell shape underneath it, and that's the tassel. And this, of course, is scarlet colored or red because our OSU's colors are scarlet and gray. So we're going to have little tassels all along there. It would be interesting to know if the Pantheon once had tassels. Oh, and um, Adriana asked me about um, sports arenas and stadiums like this. No, this wasn't the first stadium in Columbia, or in Ohio, but it was certainly one of the most elegant. Okay, now we're going to come up and reinforce where those arches are now that we have our tassels on. And this one, just like when we made the entrance to the Etruscan city, it goes back like that. So it's going back like that on this side. So it's like that. And this one we're going in, we can't really see the side of that one. And go ahead and darken that in so you know that it shows you the thickness of the walls. Actually, I think I want to put my thickness on the other side. Change my mind. Don't draw too dark. That's why we sketch so we can change our mind. I'll make that just a little bit wider. Okay. All right. So that's our entrance. And these are the gates you go through. I'm going to even out our dome a little bit. I could fuss on this forever, I swear. But we're going to stop. It does not have an oculus because it only has a half dome. So we don't have to worry about our gods and goddesses being able to escape. <laughs> Which is what Hadrian said that the oculus was for, so that the gods and goddesses could leave at will. Yeah, Tim laughed at that. Okay, now we're going to put the coffers in. And that word is coffer, C-O-F-F-E-R-S. Not like, <coughs> but coffers like coffee. Okay, we're going to go down like this. Angle, angle, rounded. Now when we get to the middle, we start to go straight. And then we angle this way. So, see how that creates that roundness? And then we're going to go around like this. And I'm not going to worry about the exact number of coffers we have. We got what we got. And as the line comes down, it starts to straighten out. So, they have coffers in the Pantheon. And they think that at one time they had um, gold flowers. Now, these look like just posy things. They're not really serious flowers. They're like a circle with petals. And the only reason that they look even slightly elegant is because they're relatively small. And you can give it as many petals as you want. but try and keep them in the center of the coffer. This is a little hard to see. And the coffers are cut away in the Pantheon. They're like this, they have cutaways. And they go in twice like that. And then they put their little flower in. I probably should have done that first. And that behind there is blue. You're going, why? It's to make the gold stand out. And it has a double line. But we can't see it so well there, but we'll see it down here. It's a double square. And our square is sort of 
strange because of perspective. So I wouldn't worry about it not being perfect. Remember, we're doing a SpongeBob cartoon kind of thing. When you are in class, particularly a history class, and you're taking notes, if you are a very visual person, you may want to sketch what they're talking about. Abraham Lincoln would be someone who would be easy to sketch. You don't have to really get a resemblance. You're the only one that's looking at your notes. It's for you. So if you do a sketch of somebody, Thomas Jefferson had red hair, by the way. So if you do him, remember to give him red hair. Yeah, go like that. As it turns the corner here, you're not gonna see all of your coffer because it's sort of bent. Don't worry about it being perfect. Just get those coffers in there. You'll have to cough up some time later on. <laughs> and if you don't think you'll remember it, write it on the bottom of the page for yourself because these are your notes. Okay, we're gonna put little circles inside these for our rosettes or whatever they are. They look like a Tudor rose, like Henry VIII had everywhere. I don't know if that's what they were originally meant to supposed to look like, but that's what they look like. And they are gold. And I know we don't have any gold. So just give it kind of wiggle waggle around the petal of the circle. Because remember, this is a cartoon. And we will be drawing a football player to go in the center of this. So, but we will do that on a separate sheet of paper. Because I don't want you to get all mad because your football player doesn't look right. Which I know you guys get. I wouldn't worry about it. Oh, I forgot the petals on this one. And this one. And this one. Okay, so that's about what it looks like. And there are bands here, across here. So we're going to, and this one's a little bit angled down. Okay, now remember the Romans very much liked half columns. So we're going to draw a rectangle here on each side. And a rectangle over here, approximately the same place. If you have a ruler, you can get it perfect. And you're thinking, half columns, where would they put those? Well, they didn't, remember, just like the, the Colosseum, they didn't have to have a place. They just put a column right here. Because, again, it's supposed to reference the Colosseum. So we have a column here. It's hard to tell if it had fluting on it. it. Just had a Doric top, the plainest one of all. And we're gonna put a shelf back here so we can tell that it's round, 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 straight, straight, straight. And then it's got like a cutaway inside it, so you can put the cutaway around it. Cutaway. Now, I'm gonna put a line here, across here. And we have more tassels. They must have really, ooh, I think this one's longer than that one. Eh, well, who cares? No importa. Okay. I showed the cartoon to somebody. They said, oh, that's the stadium. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we want some bowls here. For our tassels. We're going to put bowl here. I think I could draw this place in my sleep, I swear. And then a little ball here where the two bowls meet. And 
Again, they're red for scarlet with a tassel down here. Now you'd really have to get up close to see this. And then of course we have windows underneath that. As students used to live here. They were like guard puppies, I guess you'd say. So down here we have windows, but we're just gonna sketch those in and not do too much with them because we have to draw trees here. And right here along this wall here, we have some little ticket windows. And I'm sure you're wondering, well, let me put those inside. I don't like them out there. Let's put them inside here. I miss two is fine. Okay, we have a lamppost here. I'll give you some scale. Scale tells you what size everything is. Here's a lamppost. And here is a person. That gives you an idea of how grand this is. Now, in the center, we have a block O. These were added in the 90s when they added the extra seating. Because remember, when they first built it, they didn't think they'd ever, ever fill all those seats. Okay. And then on the sides, there are pictures of football players tackling each other. But they're very careful to show nobody's number. And that's because every football player that goes into OSU Stadium to play has to think of that as them. So they want to make sure you don't see the numbers. So you just sort of sketch these little shapes in there. And they're green and red, so if you've got colors, you can put them in that way. And these gates are generally closed. It used to be when students lived there that things happened. You know, there were events and things there, but that's not there anymore. Okay, so we're going to put in trees here. And since we know how to make up my favorite corn dog trees, And just put those in. And here we're going to have, we put posts here because they don't want you walking on the grass. So these come down towards you. And then they have this sort of loop thing that says, don't walk on this. They have them along the side. I mean, they really wouldn't keep anybody out, but it's to remind you that you have to stay off the grass, which is different from the grass inside. For a while, they had um, that strange plastic turf on the floor in the stadium. And then what happened was uh, it didn't drain right. Because when you watch that movie, you find out that the stadium is actually below, below water level next to the Oantangi. And so it was not altogether a good idea where they chose to build the stadium. So now they've gone back to grass and with the ground, it will drain more properly. It didn't do so well. And also the players got really badly hurt on the AstroTurf. So they had to change back. I'll put some bottoms on those. Yeah, I 
put the bottoms on those. Let's put a tree here so you don't have to draw. I'll cover up my barrier for the water or for the grass, the people keep people off the grass. Now, I know you're wondering, what about the grass in the stadium that's so precious? Well, only coaches and players and the uh, cheerleaders and the band are allowed on there. It's considered almost sacred ground, just like a church in Europe. So we're gonna put a tree here and you can use the side of your pencil. About two more minutes. Something okay, more two more minutes. Okay, we're going to put a windows up here, and you can color those in. And I would color them in blue. I'll move as fast as I can, because we only have two minutes. And then windows tend to reflect the sky. So when you color them, make them blue. And there's usually there's some windows on this side too. And you can pull up pictures of the stadium if you want to do something fancier than this. I'll go over to this side. And next time, next week, I will post how to color it. It won't take quite as long, but you can also look at pictures of the stadium and get an idea of what colors you have that you can use to make this. The crayons are fine. And then we'll draw the football player. Okay. And last window. I'll have to go look and see if there's fluting on these pillars. Put that. They have Doric capitals, so. Okay. Um, I think this is just a sidewalk. We're going to put our football player right about here. Or you can cover up if you didn't do so well somewhere. Okay. And that's it for today. We will add more information at the bottom next time.